Howdy folks, welcome back to Plumbing with Tim, the channel that takes you on the job. Today we're on location on a 55 plus community manufactured homes at a gentleman's house that claims he thinks there is problems with his drains underneath this trailer. So if it's not an attic, today it's a trailer. Let's go take a look. All right, there's our opening to get up underneath. Um, got a couple things I think he said. It was something to do with the washing machine drain and the kitchen, which is back towards the front of the mobile home. So uh, we'll take a look as soon as we get up underneath there. Wish me luck. Ah, oh, tight fit. Ah, wait a minute. I'm already seeing something that don't look right. What is that? What is that? That drain doesn't even look like it's attached. Something's not right there. I'm right underneath where the laundry is. That looks like that whole arm came apart. We're gonna have to do something about that. That's definitely a problem right there. Let's go back up and let's take a look at the kitchen area and see what's happening up there. Yikes. That's a long haul all the way down there. I've got to climb all the way to the very front of this mobile home and take a look at that kitchen. Catch up to when we get there. Wow, this is a tight space. Ooh. 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 I don't like the looks of that. Ooh. <clears throat> this is right there. A black widow egg nests. Ugh, I don't want a bit bit by one of them. Yikes. Onwards. Alright, that pipe right over there is the kitchen. I don't know why they said it was back pitched. I can see it. it looks fine from here. Even a little spot over here where it ties in. So everything looks tied in with that kitchen. Anyways, I'm gonna climb back there a little further and take a look and make sure everything's intact. All right, I don't know if you can see or not. It looks like there's a little bit of a dip back in that area. I'm gonna have to get back there and see if I can't put something underneath there, at least to get rid of that little belly in the pipe. All right, so I see what's going on here. Look at that's a dip. Right over there, that's where the kitchen drains down. That's got a belly sitting there. Let's see if I can take one of these concrete blocks we can get it up underneath there and at least create some sort of a pitch oh oh wow wow oh there's a little bit let's see if i can get a little more under there get a little bit of pitch oh this is tough okay that's a little better i like that better all right so that looks a little bit better it's not exactly 100% what I'd like it to be, but it's not back pitched anymore. It's got a gradual drain going to it and it's supported. So back to where I had a problem underneath the washing machine. That's amazing what kind of stuff you can find underneath people's houses. What's this? Oh, look at this. Oh, wow, big old saw. Look at that. <laughs> All right, so I had to come back out to get a little refreshment. I rectified the problem with that droop in the kitchen drain. Man, that is a tight fit, let me tell you. When I get back underneath there and go up to where that wash machine drain is messed up, have a close look at it and find out what it is that we need to do to make the problem go away. All right, round number two. Let's go back in there and find out what we have to do to fix this problem with the laundry. Uh, there it is right there. We need to get in there and look at that. Really have a good look at it. It just doesn't look right. What in the hell is going on here? That's the washer line. It's not even attached. Yeah, what is that paper coming out the end of that? What the heck? I mean, I figure something out here. All right, so if you look carefully, the sewer line is starting at the way at the beginning where we were at with the kitchen. Comes through here, picks up one bathroom, supposed to pick up the laundry, and it heads out over that direction to 
towards another bathroom and out of the house. That is a backwards sanitary tea. That is backwards. It's not supposed to be flowing that way. That's backwards. It should be flowing that way. So we need to cut this tea out of here, get rid of that mess, and tie it in the right way. Hmm. the old thing cut out and that's kind of what we want to work with is a three by two inch combo sweep the problem is is it's offset a little bit so I may end up having to go up in there and offset with a couple 45s to make it match what I want and then put a Franco in there and bridge this gap with a piece of three inch pipe and glue this all in all right, so I was lucky and I caught something in time before I glued that combo in. Oh, the light went out. I didn't see that the line coming out from upstairs where the laundry is is inch and a half. That's wrong. Drain volume waste on the laundry is supposed to be two. But I don't have time today to take and tear all the stuff out from upstairs. So instead of the three by two combo, we're going to have to go with the three by inch and a half combo. It's just the way it is. And you can bitch about it in the comments to me. I already know. Oh, there's all this insulation string going on around here. It's a bad little spot here. Oh. I'm gonna grease it on there. Oh yes. and straight there we go just like that I'm talking about it's not just straight up and down it's offset just a little bit so we need to offset with probably either a couple 22s or a couple 45s look at my measurement here we look like we're right at about six and a quarter inches now to the three inch take a measurement from the end of our fern co fitting that looks like it's at five and a quarter all right street 22 at an inch and a half i got it marked out so that's good at the top one a regular 22 Tricky business. Oh, grease it up good. Oh, that's my mark. There it is, right there. Okay, let's do this. Somewhere right about in there, we're gonna go with. Put that three inch in there. I can't get my butt dauber in there. Bad angle. Oh, there we go. Nice and easy. Oh yeah. Oh, there she is right there. See that? Now we can slide our front coat in there. Tricky business. Oh, yes. <laughs> Uh. 
All right, success. A couple 22s and a three by two combo. And face in the right direction, and then boot it together with a fern call. I believe it's February and I'm sweating. <laughs> Oh, tight squeeze. Oh, yeah. Let me up hold out of this thing. Oh, help me out. Oh, I feel like I'm being given birth to him. Oh. Oh. Well, definitely another one of those tight squeeze kind of days. Is it just me or am I a glutton for this kind of work? <laughs> You heard me say it before, just because you know how to do some plumbing doesn't make you a plumber. All right, imagine all the thousands of different homes out there right now that are plumbed in the wrong way. And plumbers go out there to try to fix a problem and end up getting into a mess like this. Before you guys start asking questions, my regular hourly rate I charge is $100 an hour. But when I get up underneath a mobile home, it goes to $175 for the first hour. Okay, that's it for this one. Thanks so much for hanging out and watching the video. I hope you had as much fun as I did. <laughs> Everybody have a great weekend. If you got any questions or comments, leave them down below. Until next time, been Plumbing with Tim. Keep plumbing.